Russian modus operandi when it comes to disseminating disinformation is uh, pretty consistent, has been consistent uh, with what they tried to do back in the days of the Cold War as the Soviet Union. Now, technology has changed. They now can use social media and, uh, and the internet to disseminate uh, their narratives, but the basic elements of the modus operandi have remained the same. So what they're trying to do is not convince us in our societies of an alternative version of the truth. What they're trying to do is disseminate enough false narratives to confuse us into paralysis and perhaps chaos. Jonathan Sevyov is the Secretary General of Estonia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Once part of the Soviet Union, Estonia is keenly aware of how disinformation is used and how to fight it. To combat mis- and disinformation, governments and citizens alike need to be digitally resilient. So what is digital resilience exactly? Digital resilience is understanding when you or your community might be at risk online, knowing what to do if something goes wrong and being able to recover from it and learning from those experiences. In part, it means giving citizens the tools to detect disinformation themselves. One way that Estonia equips its citizens is through media literacy. Another is through government transparency. We need to uh, single out the sources that uh, Russia and others use to undermine trust in our public institutions. We need to be absolutely as transparent as we possibly can. And as I said, in the long run, we have to invest in our education. No, other, no alternative to this. I think these are some of the universal truths about uh, how to uh, deal with uh, disinformation in this day and age. When it comes to media literacy, Taylor Owen says it needs to go beyond just fact-checking. He is a professor at McGill University's Max Bell School of Public Policy. Owen says people need to understand how the information ecosystem works. In some ways, it's like media literacy all the way down. <laughs> Um, I think we all need to be doing it in a much more sophisticated way. I think at a um, elementary and high school level, we need to again not be teaching people to kids to fact check. We need to be teaching younger people to have a deep understanding of how information is getting to them, why they feel how they feel when they consume digital information, how their behavior can be shaped and their views of the world can be shaped by the design of the systems in which they live and interact and socialize. Like that kind of structural understanding has to be embedded in society at a really early age. Watch and read more about disinformation, cyberbullying and online harms at cpac.ca slash disinformation dash and dash democracy. Regardez cette émission et lisez davantage sur la désinformation, la cyberintimidation et les méfaits en ligne à cpac.ca barre oblique désinformation tiré et tiré démocratie. <muches>